Hi there, thanks for joining me. Would you like to find out about an antenna that you can set up very quickly, that tunes on all bands 40 through 10 meters and gives you some really good performance? Stay tuned and I'll show you. So let's look then at the drawing of the antenna. We can see from this wonderful drawing, we've got a car and uh, the antenna is actually fed from the car roof. Uh, at the top of the car roof, we've got two things. We've got a Mat 40 tuner, a remote uh, sort of long wire tuner. And connected to that via its ground lug, we've got a Diamond MAT50. And uh, what one of those is, is basically a counterpoise magnet mat. More about that in a moment. And that provides capacitive grounding with the car body, a bit like I've been doing with my mobile antennas and the mag mount, okay? Now, from the tuner, we've got about nine meters or so of wire sloping up to about 10 and a half meters above uh, ground level. And that's supported near the top of a 12 meter fiberglass pole, which is in turn supported by a drive-on uh, mount uh, with the car. Good thing about this, uh, this antenna is you don't need any radials. It's relying on the car for its capacitive ground. So it's very easy to put up and very quick and simple to get on the air. And let's look at some footage of uh, what it looked like on the day. You've got the antenna wire coming down to the a mat 40 tuner you've got the coax cable coming towards our direction and the control cable to the tuner going the other way as you can see on the back there we've got the mat 50 uh, counterpoise mat and here it is a better view of it attached to the ground lug of the mat 40 tuner so let's take a quick look at the diamond mat 50 the counterpoise magnet mat as you can see here it's quite a, a simple thing really uh, you can attach it to the ground lug of the tuner. Now, it does come with a, a far bigger, rounder uh, connector that you put around an SO239, which is what it's designed for, really, to help you gain more capacitive ground with, say, a mag, a mag mount uh, uh, sort of setup. Um, but I've, I've took that off and I've put my own little uh, fork connector on to connect to the, uh, give a better connection to the ground lug of the tuner. Um, uh, the antenna itself, sorry, the, the mat itself, or one of those will help you give some good capacitive grounding from 40 through 6 metres. If you wanted to use 80, they say you should use two of these in conjunction with each other. Uh, the dimensions of the thing itself, well, it's quite small. It basically uh, weighs uh, about 55 grams. It uh, measures 80 by 195 millimetres. That's in rough measurements about 3, 3.5 three inches to 7.5 inches. So it's quite small. Uh, and it's got a magnetic base, which is very easy to remove from the roof of the car. And you can use about 500 watts SSB and about 200 watts uh, FM CW, it's rated at as well. So perfectly good enough for any sort of typical portable installation. So great SWR from the tuner on all bands, 40 through 10 meters. Now the bands were so-so on the day. I had about an hour, maybe an hour and a quarter to operate. So not a long time, but uh, this is classic portable operating. You sometimes grab an hour here. You want to get set up quick and get on the air, don't you? And it, the antenna certainly worked in that respect. Now I managed to go on 40 meters with a poter activation. I also went on 20, uh, 12 and 10 meters too. A very quick look then at some of the contacts very briefly that I made on some of those bands. Okay, stand by. The park to park, go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon. Turn two Echo Zero India Lima Foxhot. Brian up in Southport. Go Hero Tango Radio Bravo. Ocean 5 and 9. Papa Delta 3 Radio Lima. Ocean 5 9 push. Delta Kilo 5 Charlie Hotel Foxhot. This is your 5 and 9, 59. Leader 4 India Lima Hotel. The Ocean 57. Thank you for the pass. 73. The Golf Mike 8 off to Foxtrot Quebec. But you sound me good, Tim. They are probably the strongest on the band at the moment. 59 plus, Tim, and thanks for the boat, are you? Yeah, this is Mike Zero, America, Japan, Japan, M0 AJJ, 59. The name's Paul, just north of Liverpool, are we? Mexico, number six, Mike Papa, November. I've got you 5, 9, plus 10. Oscar, let 5, Julius Kilo, you are 59. Golf 1, India, Alpha Bravo, Golf 5, and 73. Mike India Zero, Delta Juliet Mike. Uh, you're about the strongest session, as I say, I've heard today. So, so Charlie Six Radio November. You are five and eight. Mm -hmm. India five, double diamond. You are five by nine. Oscar Hotel Three, Golf Zulu. 
Italy Zulu 2, Queen Zulu Opel, to 59 plus 10 dB over here into the north part of Italy, Roger. CQ10, CQ10, Golf 5, Tango, Mike Portable, G5 TM Portable, CQ10 and standing by. Hotel Bravo 9, Lima, Focus Road, Quebec. Uh, you are 5 by 7. Uh, QRZ 10, Golf 5, Tango, Mike Portable. 2 Echo 0, India Tango Whiskey. I'm just, uh, just down in Gatwick. So, yeah, you're just down the road from me. Uh, Hotel Bravo 9, uh, Uniform Tango 2, Hotel America, Flash Mobile. Okay, 57 also. Golf 5, Tango, Mike Portable. CQ 12 meters and standing by. Of course, the beauty of using the Mat 40 tuner is that you're tuning the antenna right at the feed point. So you're minimizing any sort of uh, losses you might get on the feed line between the uh, between the feed point and a tuner which you may have, for example, in your vehicle or further away from the feed point. So that's good. And that uh, the antenna worked really well. It got some great signal reports on 40. Uh, 10 meters was open for sporadic E, which is fantastic. So overall, really enjoyable. Well, thank you for watching. There's a chance to subscribe over there and there'll be another video coming up over there somewhere. Take care. We'll catch you again from the south coast of England. Bye-bye for now.